In this film, we watch a relationship between two people unfold. The film is shot in one conversation and has flowed over a long time, illustrating how these two had a smooth relationship. In the end, we're met with the shock that the woman in the relationship becomes diagnosed with cancer, which later leaves her dead and the man alone to finish off the walk. There may be more of pressure on breast cancer patients uh, to be positive simply because there's more pressure. Recognising it was Cancer Awareness Month, I felt it would be a nice touch to incorporate a relevant topic. I recorded a short film that I watched called Stand By, which followed the relationship of two policemen through the story of a montage. I felt this would be a nice way to discover the relationship between the characters in my story. Following this, I had also watched a film recently called Elephant. Now, this film is about a school shooting, and, but the director had chosen to show the event of the school shooting following events that would happen any other day, which I would like to use in our film to sh illustrate how cancer can just creep up on us at any time without us really knowing. I also looked into a short film called Spider to get an understanding of what he could use for unexpectedness. Producing wise, I organised the actors. I was able to arrange both a female and a male actor to join us in the shoot. Although unfortunately nearer the time of the shoot they dropped out. This caused the stress as I was not able to organise two new actors. I was able to organise a new female actor, Alice Porlock, but then I also had to act in it myself. I felt this really affected my vision and restricted me as a director. When on set, we brought many bottles of water so that actors and crew were always hydrated. I had a guy behind the cameraman to prevent him from falling into water or tripping over. This film follows Darren writing a letter to his wife on their 10 year marriage anniversary. In the letter he reminisces about their wedding and their relationship including their first kiss. At the end of the letter he changes his tone when he chooses to confess his love for someone else. I offered my skills in script writing. I began the script writing process by writing one long monologue as the letter and building scenes around that. After recently watching the film The Killing of a Sacred Deer I was inspired by the cinematography. This influenced my decisions in my shot list. I wanted to explore the use of dead space. As well as this, I also took my time with other shots. For example, the opening shot pans from the shower. I could have easily panned left, taking the shorter route, which would have felt easier on the eyes of the people watching. In this case, though, I made the decision to pan right, taking a longer way round to reveal my subject. I felt this made all audiences feel uncomfortable. When it came to editing, I decided to use the opening shot into Flick with a shot of a church. I used a technique developed by editor Don Camburn, who edited Easy Rider. He would quickly flash from scene to scene when changing location, creating a form of static. In my instance, I wanted to use this technique to further play with the audience's emotions. I continued to do this while transitioning to and from flashbacks, giving audiences only a sneak peek of the happy memories, leading them into a false sense of security. When organising the actors, I believe the production side went to plan. To get the actors, I went to the website Mandy, a free online agency for actors. We put on an application to people in which we received over 20 offers. When picking our actors, we looked at actors who lived close as we did not want to spend a lot on their travel. When approaching the safety of our actors and crew, we made sure that we were not using lights or other equipment containing long wires. We kept the risk of tripping to a minimal. As we were shooting near water in our exterior location, we made sure someone was behind our cameraman so that he did not fall in. In this film, our aim was to demonstrate the effect of World War I on young people. Inspired by one, the 100th year anniversary of the end of the First World War. And secondly, after watching the film Testament of Youth, I was keen to take on the role of producing after reading the book The Complete Film Production Handbook. As I had not solely produced myself yet, I wanted to take on this responsibility so that I could learn and I could gain experience organising equipment. Although we had a few glitches due to using the kit store in the room booking department, Apart from this, I feel that the producing side went well. I successfully hired out the kit, organised the actor and a room to shoot in. When editing, I used a soundscape to illustrate this. I started off by importing sounds that felt patriotic, proud, as well as satisfying. This was including the biscuit bite. 
As the film develops, a silly introduced sounds of war slowly getting louder as the pain gets more forceful in his head. When editing the film, it's her editing techniques from films from Rob Cohen. In the film, X accept. His editor, when editing a stunt performed in the film, would edit the stunt, starting from the beginning of the stunt, from each angle he cut into, kind of replaying the stunt over and over again. I thought this would work well in this film, although in my case it would highlight the ongoing repetition of this pain that these young boys go through in remembering the war. Moving on to health and safety, there was very minimal risks on this shoot. We kept actors and crew hydrated throughout, away from electrical equipment. We did not use lights with big cables, so therefore there was no hazard of tripping. The film does not have a story. In my mind, I wanted to paint the picture of how men treat women like objects, and how they think they're free to do whatever they want. The women are represented by Barbies. We use Barbies because one, it would take it to a sinister level and add one of a child's mindset. Two, because they're unable to react what, to what is going on. They do not have a conscience, therefore these boys can do anything to them. On the other hand, I also want to display the confusion on the boys' faces. After, they are under the understanding that they can treat these Barbies any way they please, due to what they've seen in the media. We chose to begin our process by having our soundtrack made first, which Megan sourced for us. After listening to the soundtrack, we thought about how we could arrange images to fit this. We then came up with the idea to base it on the same vibe as American Horror Story. We looked at the intro video for this. I felt this was achievable and an exciting target to aim for. I was also able to transfer over my knowledge from the book Directing Actors by Judith Winston. She mentions how the biggest complaint I hear from actors is that directors don't know what they want. I took this into mind when directing the actors. I feel this is really shown through the way I directed. When planning my shot list, I wanted to explore using a variety of shots. When shooting the wide shots, I did not want my actors to face the camera. By doing this, I feel I demonstrated how they were lost in this world. Whereas my close-ups would really catch the confusion. I also wanted to get shots of objects such as chains to add to this idea that how girls are chained up to this men's ideology. I also chose to use a rotation slash dutch hang. When shooting, I wanted to further illustrate how he was being pressured and scared into this situation. We're talking health and safety. Well, first of all, we shot this quite late in the evening, which meant minimal lighting. Therefore, we had to use markers to highlight hazards such as steps where people could trip over. On the topic of tripping over, we did not use lights with long cables, so there was no risk of tripping there. It was quite cold, so we brought spare jumpers and coats so actors and crews would not get cold. We also brought plenty of water to keep everyone hydrated. I feel as a group we were successful in creating this film, although if I was to redo it, it may be an interesting route to insert clips and photographs as other forms of media to help illustrate how men treat women.